Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. U.S. Airways' last flights are scheduled. The New Horizons spacecraft reaches the dwarf planet Pluto. King Schools makes flight instructor security training easier. I'm Brie Cross, it is July 15th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Another airline name becomes a part of aviation history. When U.S. Airways operates Flight 434 from San Francisco to Philadelphia and Flight 496 from Phoenix to Denver on October 16th, they will be the last two flights under the U.S. Airways brand. At least that's the way it stands now. American Airlines Group says that schedules can and often do change. It is reported that as of July 18th and 19th, any reservation made for flights departing on October 17th and thereafter will be listed as American Airlines flights. Previous reservations for flights after that date will be migrated to American. Preparations are already underway for the merger of the two reservation systems, which analysts say is always one of the trickiest parts of an airline merger. Passengers will also see kiosks change over to AA displays, and new uniforms are under development for employees. The little planet that got bullied by science and kicked out of our solar system now seems to be welcome back to the lunch table. Pluto finally gets some respect. After a decade-long journey through our solar system, New Horizons made its closest approach to Pluto on Tuesday, about 7,750 miles above the surface, making it the first ever space mission to explore a world so far from Earth. The controllers at the John Hopkins University Applied Physical Laboratory waited anxiously as New Horizons first went into a mode of collecting data before phoning home. However, when the spacecraft finally made the call, it included a few pictures that are nothing short of stunning. The little dwarf planet Pluto should be very proud. Now it will take 16 months for New Horizons to send its cache of data that spans the full 10 years of his journey. Project manager Glenn Fountain said, quote, after nearly 15 years of planning, building, and flying the New Horizons spacecraft across the solar system, we've reached our goal. The bounty of what we've collected is about to unfold." End quote. After the break, King Schools offers TSA training for free. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at news.net. In order for a flight instructor to remain certified, they must complete a refresher training course every two years. However, they also have to complete a training course required by the Transportation Security Administration annually. And now CFIs will appreciate having a new, free, and online way to meet their annual TSA training requirement. TSA Security Awareness Training for CFIs from King Schools can be completed in about an hour using any internet-connected computer or tablet. It provides a TSA-acceptable graduation certificate and qualifies for WINGS program credit which is automatically submitted to the FAA upon course completion. While most biennial flight instructor refresher courses include the TSA training, this new King program provides a way for instructors to assure they meet the annual TSA training requirement in between the refresher courses. Kudos to King Schools for helping our instructors meet the TSA requirement at no cost. 
With some 2000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. This is a World War II design. It was actually a mid-war design. You had the B-17, B-25, B-25. This video is of an interview taken at EAA AirVenture that provides insight into the history of the currently flying World War II Douglas A-26 attack bomber. This aircraft represents history you can touch. Search History You Can Touch on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, the new game in town is setting records in electric airplanes. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Electra One Solar from the German company PC Aero has become the first solar electric aircraft to successfully overfly the Alps in both directions. The airplane had 280 solar cells on the wing surface and an 11.5 kilowatt hour battery package. The FAA has proposed two fines, totaling $1.2 million against SkyWest Airlines for operating aircraft that were not in compliance with regulations. The fines are related to a lack of inspections and to non-adherence to an airworthiness directive. Flight Resource has announced MT Composite Propeller Upgrade STCs, a 79-inch 3-blade MT propeller and an 83-inch 2-blade MT propeller are approved for the Cessna 170, 172, and 175s that are powered by a Lycoming 360 series engine. The House Subcommittee on Space held a hearing last week to examine the current status of the International Space Station. They evaluated NASA's plans for dealing with operational and maintenance challenges. They also reviewed the administration request to extend ISS operation to 2024. Current and former service members, members of Congress, Vietnam veterans, and Air Force senior leaders gathered in the Capitol to honor those who served during the Vietnam War. Two Air Force veterans were among the 10 recognized honorees. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The U.S. Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, known as the Blue Angels, announced the officers selected for the 2016 team. The squadron selected two FA-18 demonstration pilots, one C-130 demonstration pilot, a maintenance officer, and a public affairs officer to join a pre-selected commanding officer on the 2016 team. Captain Tom Frosch, the current flight leader and commanding officer for the 2015 team, said in part, quote, selecting team members is always a difficult process, but once again, I am confident we have picked the best, most qualified individuals for our team. The 2016 team members were chosen from an exceptionally competitive talent pool, and we are excited to have them join our team, end quote. In 2016, the Blue Angels will celebrate their 70th anniversary. Since 1946, the Blue Angels have performed for more than 484 million fans. The countdown to AirVenture 2015 is well underway, with only five days to go until the official opening Monday, July 20th. But you don't have to wait until then to tune in to Innovations at AirVenture. 
ANN and EAA have joined together to present the AirVenture Innovation Preview. We call it the AIP to highlight the innovative products that have the buzz factor at AirVenture 2015. Not only have we got the buzz nailed down, we are going to let you in on it on Saturday the 18th before the AirVenture gates are officially opened. The AIP allows product innovators to work with us to produce informational videos with our media staff. You'll see a massive program containing 20 to 30 short, 3 to 5 minute online media presentations that will give you a glimpse of what is really new and innovative at AirVenture. The video presentations are carefully managed to produce useful information about innovative products that goes beyond normal sales hype. Join with us on Saturday evening at www.oshcast.net, www.airborntv.net, or www.eaa.org for the first ever broadcast of AirVenture Innovation Preview. We'll have more information regarding broadcast time later in the week. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.